All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sanjay, from Oracle's Every Sanjay. Let's just say, first of all, I still have no idea where Isanjay's diary is going um, because it's moving slow. But I know that it brings me some sort of peace, so um, I rock with it. But give me a second. All right, boom. So shit been crazy. Like, I feel like... First of all, one, I need to choose better company that I keep around me because, like, too many people are susceptible to, like, demonic attack around me. Um, and if you don't get it, you don't get it because I'm going on my tarot channel and talking about that with the details. So, because they get it. But too many people around me are susceptible to demonic attack and, like, that shit, excuse me, even though I won't let it, like, hit me all the way. It's still a lot to deal with. So I don't know what the hell my grandma was going through yesterday, but whatever it was, it made her vulnerable enough to be, um, you know what I'm saying, touched by some not good spirits, some not good energy. So I'm deciding upon myself, because I just keep on witnessing shit. So I decided upon myself, like, man, I'm not motherfucking dealing with this. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. And she was supposed to uh go to new jersey or whatever go see my mom and them like my grandma mm -mm. if she starts some bullshit that mean like she planning on dragging that shit out like she gonna drag it out she gonna spread that shit i'm tired of being mad because other people mad like no deal with your own shit simple so i stayed home yesterday and i had this man working on my car or whatever the mechanic across the street working on my car or whatever mind you his van is behind us so I had a man working on my car or whatever. But mind you, tell my grandma, or, or according to what she's telling me, because sometimes she just like to make shit complicated. So she told me that she said something about him putting it in a mailbox. But all these days is going by. This man don't say shit to me about my car or whatever. So I go over yesterday to the garage um, to see if he's there so I can get my keys. So uh, he's not there. So... I go back in the house and I decide to walk back over to this little van with this number on it because it's like a business number or whatever the case may be. So I go back over to the car and I I, met, I get the number off of his van and I call him. And I'm like, something, something, this the girl with the Honda, da, da, da. can I have my kids? He like, something, um, where you can, something, can I have the money? Like, what you mean, can you have my money? You've been holding my keys hostage. I should be able to hold your money hostage. And But there's, like, the way that the story play out, it makes sense all in the end. So, like, he was holding my keys hostage because he knew that whatever he had done with my car was inaccurate. Like, he had made a whole estimate and bought parts before he knew all the way what was wrong with my car. I'm not going for that. So, it's like, something in me is just telling me, like, hold this man accountable. Hold him accountable. Like, don't be afraid to speak up. You know what I'm saying? Because he was being weird. So, yeah. Get the get him to the car. He telling me how the car going to work and da-da-da, how to get it to work, blah 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 all this and that. So, I'm sitting in a passenger seat, in a driver's seat. I'm like, all right, so me sitting in a car and it working while I'm staying in one spot is one thing. But is this motherfucker going to drive? You heard? Like, is this motherfucker going to drive? So I'm like, I'm going to do a door dash, you know what I'm saying, to see if, um, you know, see if the car going to drive because there's nothing like that. Boy, I get right around the corner. Like, when I say right around the corner, I mean, I ain't even get to touch no lights before the car cut off. So, mind you, the car just keep cutting off. Mind you, before the man walked away, he gonna say, uh -huh, uh good luck. Bitch, I got you $230 for you to talk about some good luck. You don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> you got one. You, th you thought you got one. So, there's that. Get in the middle of the street, car start cutting off. I'm calling this man back to back. Blah, blah. Nah, this shit ain't working. This ain't working. Well, baby girl, you got to try. You got to drive it. You got to put the gas in it. You got to let it warm up. You're not listening to... Man, this shit ain't working. You heard? This shit is not fucking working. Fuck you talking about. Y'all just gave you that money. And then my grandma's soft as hell, bro. My grandma's so fucking soft. And like, when it comes to men, 
they just be already knowing that they can kind of like get one over on her. So he thought he was playing a fastball with me because my grandma soft. No, my grandma soft. That's why he was talking to my grandma and not me. I ain't, I'm not, you feel me? Like sometimes I think I'm a little too rough for real, but I'm not, I'm not rough enough. But, um, yeah, so he talking all this and that, all this on the phone. You not listening. Da, 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 da. I'm not, li I'm definitely not listening to this bullshit that you talking because first of all, it's niggas around the corner. Like, I don't, I'm not about to argue with no grown-ass man. Do you want to fight a boy? That's one. You feel me? Like, I'm not about to argue with no grown-ass man. Like, I'm not. I just refuse. I'm not arguing with no grown-ass man. I'm just not. Like, it's boys for boys. It's men for men. You feel me? It's boys for men. It's men for boys. But, no, you're not about to be talking to me noticed in that type of way. Because I can tell by the way that you're talking to me that you pussy for real. So... I'm on the phone like, this some bullshit. <laughs> this some bullshit. And I didn't get this, but he on the phone. This some bullshit. And I didn't get this, man, my money, da, 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 Like, this is crazy, da, 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 da. So I finally get the car back to um the spot behind my house or whatever that I usually have my car parked in. So, um, what's the case maybe? So he like, um... So I'm like, he like, where you at? Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, after the car just kept on stopping randomly in the middle of the street, I finally got it back to a spot. He, I'm like, but now we got to talk about this money. <laughs> I'm like, we got to talk about this money. <laughs> you heard me? We got to talk about this money. So like, he immediately before I even, because catch this. I wasn't asking for all of my money back. I wanted some of my money back. I was still want to consider his efforts. Like, he could have gave me back $40 and I would have been cool. But he all mad, swearing he talking to my grandma. Like, and when I say my grandma, like, I'm talking about her energy. She a pushover, kind of, especially with a man or something like that. Like, men know they can walk over her. But not this one. So... He talking all this and that. He say something like, I'm going to just give you your money back. He said, I'm going to just give you your money back because you're not listening. I said, appreciate you. <laughs> he said, because he said something, something. He said, so I just kept on hearing because you're not listening. I said, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Fuck is you talking about and who are you talking to, sir? Because I don't know. We about eye to eye for real, for real. You about three, four, five, six inches taller than me. And I'll knock your ugly ass out. Just straight up. <laughs> I don't get no fucks. Because you don't play with me about my money. I'm humble, but you don't play with me about my money. Like, you don't do no shit like that to me. Uh -uh. Especially because I had to break the bank to pay that man. And that's really not my dilemma. That's really not my issue. And that's really not my burden. Because he made an estimate on my vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Without even knowing... He just going one day, go to the car, spend 20 minutes with it and be like, oh, all we need is such and such and such and such. And you go and start placing orders, buying parts for a car and you don't even know what's wrong with it. Like, no, you don't just keep on adding this and this and that. If you tell me I owe you a specific amount of money, that's what I owe you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be no, oh, I owe you more of this and I owe you more of that. You know what I'm saying? This and that. No, you should have figured that shit out beforehand. I'm not no fucking sucker. So... He get the money back. So I go in the house and I process it because I'm wondering why I don't feel bad. Because by the time he come and pick up the car, like, it was ready to stay on for, like, five, ten minutes. You feel me? So he come pick up the car and he drive past in his pickup truck and I'm in the car. But I'm really the one. Like, people, you can mistake. You can make a big mistake with me. Like, if I'm calm, I'm doing you a favor. For real, for real. Like, because I lose control of certain, like. When I start, you feel me, I lose control. So if I'm being calm, like, I'm really doing you a favor. Because when I'm saying I actually running this man shit, I will run in his shit. Like, <laughs> if you make me bad enough, like, I don't have no choice, you know? And then he a man, and I, I, men trigger me easily a little bit because, like, they believe that they overpower a woman or, like, overdominate a woman. So they just treat women however. So you're not going to treat me that way. So he pull up to my car or whatever, um and he say huh come get it or something like get out i'm like get out for what i'm right here he said to get this money i said i'm right here 
bitch there's a window to a window transaction hoe you think i don't just i ain't just register or or the disrespect that you were just passing passing out didn't just register to me you think i missed that shit <laughs> the fuck just because I, I said i appreciate you bitch you think that i missed it nah ho fuck is you talking about the moral is this motherfucking man thought he was slick he thought he was slick. So the reasoning for him not giving me my car, my keys back the way he would have did my grandma when he was fixing this car. The reason for him not giving it back because he knew it had dilemmas. He knew it had issues. And he was like, he was trying to avoid the true consequences of his actions. He knew it was going to be an issue to where I was going to deserve my money back. And he was supposed to be able to get one over on me. Yeah, nigga, run that. Run that. I don't feel bad at all. Who you talking to? Run that. Pass my money. Give me my money. Other than giving my money, you can shut the fuck up. Let me let you know that right now. So that's that. This video, this video probably make it to be like 16 minutes because I sold the car this morning. <laughs> all right, so I decided upon myself. My grandma in a doozy, you feel me? Like, this is my car too. This is my first car, but it's in her name. And last time she got attitude, bro. She took my shit, like, she took my shit in the middle of my hustle, for real, and, like, that, she did dirt, you feel me? So, I had to get a whole bunch of shit off my plate, I just feel like I gotta get shit off my plate, because having my car here was a part of, like, a part of what was keeping me trapped here, like, when you're in a sticky situation, sometimes you don't have to be over-prepared to have to up and go, but you do have to be prepared to up and go. And you want to be able to get the most out of your efforts that you can. So, I do this research last night. Try to figure out this and this and that. Figure this and this and that out. My fucking woke up during the bewitching hours. I think I woke up like 5. I think I woke up like 5 this morning. It's 11 right now. I woke up like 5 this morning. Cause she make me nervous. Like when she in a bad attitude, she make my like she make my nerves bad. Cause she never like she never happy until like I'm not happy. Like that's when she be happy again when I'm bothered. Like so I'm trying to stay away from her because that shit miserable. You know what I'm saying? Like it's sad sometimes when you gotta pray your family away from you or and shit like that. Or you gotta pray ill intent out of motherfuckers. That shit is sad. You know. So anyways. I decided to get up this morning. I'm going DoorDash and stop my car. I'm going to stop my car down. I'm going to go DoorDash. That's that's what I had concluded by the time that I got up out of the bed about 9, 8 this morning. I'm going to go sell my car. I'm going to DoorDash. So I get up, take a shower, you know, get myself together, all this and that. Um so that I can be smooth in the transaction because sometimes, like I said, I got the keys to this car on my car, on my um keys or whatever. I might as well take this out the ignition. But I got my keys or whatever, and I didn't want her to try to intervene in, like, my process. So I had to get in the shower and everything because the plan was sell the car. As soon as I'm done selling the car, have my bag packed already, come get in here, go DoorDash. So I don't know... People don't like me really jumping to conclusions. I don't know. Because my grandma will fuck up something so that I can't use it too. And her car is in front and the mechanic's car is in the back. All I know is that now the engine is like locked on this car. It was working just yesterday. It was working the day before yesterday. Now the keys won't turn. And, they, um, and I'm not asking them for help. I'm not asking either one of them for help. Because if this shit messed up, then that's just what it's supposed to be. That means it's something else for me. Because I'm not about to keep asking people for shit. And for real, for real, yeah, this is my car. But she took it and it's not my burden. You feel me? It's not my burden. I just took care of myself. I just took the little weight off my shoulder. So I'm about to add in a clip of the car driving away. Give me a second. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah. I don't like the drive. Told you.
Okay, bye bye, Honda. Rest in peace to my Honda, y'all. Rest in peace to the cool. Yeah, so that was that experience. And as he drove away with my um broke ass Honda, I held back all tears. Now first, and then no, we're gonna step back. First of all, shout out to me for still having this hairstyling. <laughs> because babe. <laughs> that ain't even me for real. But looks aren't everything, you know. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, it's a little monkey wrench in my plans. Um, because I was about to go DoorDash, pay my phone bill. Um, I was about to run it the fuck up, bro. Every time I get this type of energy, it get thrown off. My grandma did not have to come home that early. I'm telling you, she did. She did not, bro. She always do shit like that. Just be so worried about what the fuck I'm doing. She don't make shit out of her experiences. She don't. Because there's no reason that the fuck she should have been back home at motherfucking... What time? I think she was back at home. Back home like 7 this morning. That's why I ain't go back to sleep. I was like, here come the fuck shit. And I knew that I had to do whatever with the junk car shit um, early. First of all, because yesterday after being mad at the mechanic or whatever, I'm trying to roll my window up. But the whole time, the passenger window all the way up. That bitch got off track, went straight down. <laughs> I was like, yo, I got to get somebody off this motherfucker for they steal it. I live in the hood. You heard? <laughs> like, I didn't want nobody to steal my shit. So, like... I mean, if you go and steal my motherfucking car, at least leave some money in the mailbox, you know? So, like, and when he bought my car, I was supposed to get more for it, but it was a port piece missing. So, he took some money off. That's cool. Like, they paid me like it was a junk car, just like it was a junk car. But, I really don't give a fuck. That motherfucker was giving me the blues, boy, like. So now I'm right here in this car that also gives me the blues, but it, it made me $50 the other day. And <laughs> ever since that, <laughs> I'm like, hold up, two trips? That's it? You know, $50 door dash, just two trips? You feel me? But I got, that mean, I just got to use my brain again. Um, I do got some Uber Nifu Yasanje shit to tend to, you feel me? I just want to stay away from my grandma so bad, like... And I talk to somebody, but sometimes it seems like we're in a relationship. Sometimes we don't. And I could go to where he's staying at, but we beefing, so. <laughs> Bro, I'm beefing with everybody. <laughs> in my opinion, I'm not beefing with nobody that's not necessary. Like, man, motherfuckers just got so used to playing with me. Like, I really give a fuck about shit. Like, as if I, like, not... I really give a fuck about shit, like, but I mean, like, as if I really give a fuck about shit, you feel me? Like, I know how to care and then detach like this, like, shit clockwork, you feel me? Like, you can't just do anything to me. I'm not that type of person that you could just, you cannot play with, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that, like. There's a lot of people out here who can fake a lot of shit. I just don't know how to pretend like I fuck with you. You know? So they got me fucked up. My grandma knows she wrong, so do that nigga, period. So I'm sitting out here in my car, you know, blowing some steam. Um, Because let me try to put this key in the ignition one more time. <laughs> <laughs> can't put the kid in this shit one more time. Maybe if I let it a little bit of time go by. But it's probably going to work once they jump it. I just don't got no way to jump it because I didn't burn all these bridges. Which I mean, I've never, I've never been happier. Oh yeah, and I also think that the man probably did something weird to this car because... But fuck it, who cares what I think? I always think some shit, nobody listens. So, um, shout out to the come up though. Quick little come up, real quick, you know a couple hundred dollars literally two of them to remove a burden like they paid me to take away my prop that's how i feel about it 
So I think I'm going to tend to some Uber Neef White Sanjay shit because you know what I'm saying? Uh, didn't say I got um to post the rest of my tribal chains. Then when I post my tribal chains, I'm going to start launching. I'm going to start launching. Launching my um store, my Etsy store. I'm going to launch it everywhere. I'm going to launch it everywhere so I can bring in sales and revenue and shit like that. But I just got to finish. But I'm cleaning up my energy and my room is in the basement. So it's just real dark. It's real dark. So, like, the sun energizes you in a different way, you know, than, like, electrical lights. So I'm just out here, you know, making the most out of my day that I can. Have you seen that? I didn't see it till it came out. Don't judge me. But, you know, I'm making the most out of my day that is available to me. Bro. This nigga acting like he fuck with me. Like, I don't think he fuck with me for real. Like, he, he fuck with me. He just don't know how to fuck with me. Like, one, one. It's the drugs and shit, like, drugs got this nigga head fucked up, like, I smoke weed, and I think it fucks with my attitude, so I don't know how to function for real, like, like, he do more than what I do, you feel me, so, like, he not stable mentally and shit, that shit just annoying sometimes, like, it's too much, and I just don't feel, I just don't feel like that shit, like, I hate being around people who need me, but try to slow me down. You feel me? Like, don't say you want something different for your life and then try to make me like all the rest of that unsuccessful shit. You feel me? Like, and I, I took the road less travel by face ass. Like, but I'm about to close this video out because any longer, I'm going to think that shit boring because, I mean, I probably wouldn't watch it, you know, but even though I'm interested in this fuck. You know, so that's why I can't go chill in my nigga crib because I probably can't go chill in my nigga crib, but I ain't kissing no ass. So, yeah, I'm going to just do what I got to do, do what I got to deal with. Because one thing about it is I'm going to endure until the end, period. Like, me and my weed. For real, because he had told me about some job applications to fill out, like, people that would get in contact with me fast or whatever the case may be. So, I filled out some applications the other day. And I just pray that he write, like, when they get to me within a week's time or something. So, I can have a job. No, mind you, I'm going to push Ubu for Y Sanjay, and I pray for a miracle over there. I'm just not depending on that. Like, that's just not how I work with my passions. Like, it's going to make me money one day. It don't have to make money today. It just don't have to. I would love for it to, but it don't have to. I'm not forcing that on myself. Like, if I'm patient, I'm going to eat for the rest of my life. Like, people don't understand that shit, how I look at time and shit. Like... If I am patient right now, I'm guaranteed happiness for the rest of my life. Like, God going to take care of me because I'm not just sitting here. You feel me? It's not like the work is not being done. It's happening at my pace, you know? Like, my story is to inspire those like me. Like, not just to do what everybody else did. Oh, you got 100 necklaces, post all 100 today. You want this money, don't you? Like, no. I want to post my art, and I want my art to be appreciated. Like, people who don't see that shit, you feel me? But one thing about it is I believe in God. He passed me this little 200, took that burden away. I was about to go run it up, make another two today. <laughs> I was about to run it up, make another two today, come home, do tarot and all that shit later. So, God made the card not work. He got other plans for me. I'm going to just try one more time. <laughs> I'm telling you this motherfucker, cut on. I'm driving off. I want a rental. DoorDash make you a little bit of money. I ain't going to cut. Dude, I wonder why this motherfucker not cutting on.
Yeah, it's not. I'm about to pass shorty the keys. I don't want to give her the keys. I don't want to give her the keys. Then the car start working again. What? Oh, well. I'm about to. I'm about to give her the keys. Then I guess I'll just, today, I'll just commit to doing what the fuck I got to do. Tomorrow, I can go back to, like, filling out applications and shit. But today, I think today, I'm woke. I'm going to focus on Obuni for a Sanche. I'm going to focus on my necklaces, get them posted. And, you know, I'm really just overthinking the process. Because the majority of my necklaces already have the description and everything done. Because it was posted on Instagram. It's just a process. Bringing it from Instagram to Etsy. Copy and pasting. Bringing that stuff down. You know what I'm saying? And then having to go back over the materials that aren't already done. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know how many millionaires and shit have already given, um, have already, like, taught so much shit and that I was supposed to then be launching my business? But I, Hold on, the man talks. Can I help you? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hold on. What's wrong? Oh, my window doesn't work. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Just wanted to see. Just wanted to say hello to you. Hi. Hi. See if you want to come. With me. No, sir. You like to? No, I'm not that kind of girl. Oh, good. That's great. Sorry, I asked. I appreciate that. Look at this nigga did not just ask me did I want to sell some pussy. You heard? That's why I left the camera on. Now, see, I was actually trying to keep from telling y'all about the first encounter with him you see this type of shit i was trying to keep y'all from knowing about the first encounter with him like because he was just staring at me when they pulled up and i'm like yo this shit is weird and then me i'm so defensive like the girl looking at me funny because he looking at her i mean because he looking at me and i'm swearing that's her pops or something and i'm like girl you need to get pops because he gonna have y'all in the rumble you <laughs> He got y'all the rubble because you looking funny and he's staring at me. And I'm staring at him because he's staring at me. And I know I'm looking funny because he's staring at me. And if y'all looking funny at me and he's staring at me, who want to rumble? Who want to test? <laughs> see, you see what I'm saying? Like, yo. I always swear people good, bro. I see this man. I see this man. Like, he got his hand in the back. Like, in his pocket so first of all i'm a little sketchy because bitches get kidnapped and shit you feel me so like i'm like what the fuck you pulling out your pocket <laughs> you feel me don't see him grab his wallet i'm thinking he about to donate to the black girl foundation you feel me like you asking me do i want to sell you some pussy do i want to have a little fun yeah, I got I got David Buster's um tokens downstairs. You trying to go to David Buster's with your old ass? On the can you try to play Dance Dance Revolution, bitch? <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to launch this channel. Cause this is the one. Like, I understand that it don't do big numbers, but this is the one. The story times be on the one. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I swear, when I think when I think this channel is not about to do number something amazing happen. Like, this shit going down in the books. What? This was an amazing video. Bullshit ass man behind me. You know what I'm saying? Grandma on some bullshit. Everybody on some bullshit. <laughs> I'm just glad that I'm woke. I need to feed my body. Man, I had plans. I was going to go get some money. I was going to go get some food. A part of me thinking about going on Facebook to see who wanna fucking DoorDash so we can get money together. Cause I mean, even if I might my, my, my fucking a little couple of something somethings, you feel me? Like that should've make me happy. I mean, cause if you wanna be honest, I just don't wanna be in the house. So I'm about to turn this little hotspot shit on. 
But you see how I really supposed to be doing the necklaces. That shit need to be done. I just don't want to be in there, bro. I'm not calling that nigga, though. I know he want to do the worst of the worst to me. Because I was acting funny yesterday. He was like, babe, you don't got to act like that just because you're going through something. Nigga, you don't got to tell me how to fuck to behave because I'm going through something. Help me get through this shit. Fuck you talking about weird ass nigga. Telling me what I got to behave like. No. Let me tell you how to behave. You gonna be mad as hell. Because he an Aries. I'm a fucking Libra. Like, but that's not my nigga. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I keep trying to tell people I'm single. I'm single as fuck. And I be telling him that when he be telling me he's my boyfriend. He's not ready to be my boyfriend. He's not ready to be my boyfriend. Fuck type. How he ready to be my boyfriend and he thought this phone was off? How he ready to be my boyfriend and he don't know shit about my hustle? How he ready to be my boyfriend and he don't see my greatness? Yeah, like, da -da -da, like, but I mean, like, this nigga don't know shit about me. And he all drugged out and shit sometimes. Like, he would project on me like shit. And that should have hurt my feelings. Like, because then when you sit down and be like, you really said all that shit about yourself to me. Like, and you said that that was me. That's really how you feel about yourself. Like, who want to be with somebody who feel like that about themselves? Ass niggas, bro. Who want to do this? You feel me? See, the white boy, he got a truck, and ain't nobody regular motherfuckers be swearing they too good for certain shit. A motherfucker risk they life over some fucking drugs, or won't drive 20 minutes away for 20 dollars, but but at the same time, will drive 20 minutes away for 20 dollars. Like. You will drive 20 minutes away for $20, but it just got to be on your terms. Like, motherfuckers don't got their priorities together. This nigga getting all this money doing stupid shit with it, like, he'll take me out or whatever. He'll do that type of shit for me, but, like, invest in me. He could have been helped me, got a rental. I could have been ran it up, you feel what I'm saying? But, no, he got to be greater than me. He has to be. <laughs> He feels like he gotta be greater than me. And this this my boy right here. I fuck with this man. He out of his shit, but I fuck with him. He real, like, he be snapping that shit. Over anything. But it's always valid. Like, if you play with him, he gonna feel some type of way about it. And he stay out the way. Just don't play with him. But anyways. Yeah, my nigga, he be tripping, so. Like, he not helping me grow for real, so he not my person for the rest of the time. He can't be my person for the rest of the time if he's scared of my growth. Like, if he always got to see me as competition with him, you know, he always comparing himself to me. He can't be my equal. Because ain't no man who I want to be ahead of me going to be complaining. You know what I'm saying? About that, you know, like... Yeah, he got the space to grow, but it's just like he really believes that he amounts to me when he just go accomplish the things that I want in an underhanded way. Like, I really stay down till I come up. Like, this nigga go flip some shit and swear he a fucking boss. Now, mind you, yeah, like, but don't compare yourself to me because you're not doing what I'm doing. Like, you're not, you're not staying down for real. Like, what you doing is equivalent to me going to, saying yes to that man. You feel me? I could have came up. White people. <laughs> Let's just. <laughs> Let's just say I know a lot about the game, okay? People don't listen to me because I'm so quiet. That's why this channel is useful. I mean, I'm not quiet, but I'm quiet, though. Like, you will never know everything that I know. I know the game. Like, so that man, the moral is, I would have tricked him easy. Western Union. Give me a second, y'all. <laughs> Bitch! Oh, my God, my God. Oh, she cut her car, and I didn't mean to say bitch that loud. All right, yeah.
it was a good call. I'm not going to talk about it. Because last time I talked about things, before they happened, they didn't work out. Let's just say, it's a good call, motherfucker. I think my grandma about to go out even better. Um, and I can go in the house and, you know, work alone. Get some work done. You know. Now, if this car would cut on. <laughs> if this car would cut on. Hmm. Go fucking me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They be telling me to take the same route as everybody else. I be like, no. Nah. They be like, but it worked for such and such. I be like, but such and such is really stressed the fuck out. Like, such and such is running from their truth. Such and such is afraid. Like, such and such is not happy. I'm glad that I fight for me. I'm about to motherfucking go smoke some weed. And work. Try to get as much done as I can, y'all. Because it's like 60 necklaces. So when I post them, my fuckers, just know. Yeah. <laughs> First thinking, yeah. And lastly, we give a big thanks to God. He told me. I felt like he was the one who showed me that I can handle that shit by myself yesterday because that was really out of my norm. You feel me? Like, the steps that I took yesterday, that was out of my norm. The steps that I took today, this is out of my norm. I'm telling you, I would have been outside running it the fuck up. No lies. I would have been running it up. Like, I'd have been at least 60 heavy right by now all the time I've been outside. I'd have been at least up sixty dollars like and that's showing me a lot about myself and i'm not the one showing myself anything god is showing me everything you know and he keeping me busy and reminding me to be humble so this is it i had threw in a clip of the um car whatever i'm gonna throw in my intro and my outro and then i'm gonna post this if you made it to the end of this video, big shout out to you. You my dog for real. <laughs> um, make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel, Z Saunders Diary, and I'm out. You gon' sit around and wait your motherfucking time for when I respond to you. From what? You got us fucked up. Fuck out of here.